Hey friends, it's Miss Alex, and today we're working with clay, pipe cleaners, plastic straws, and a scissor for cutting all those things with. So you can see I already got kind of started with my clay. This is air dry clay, and I like it because I don't have to put it in the oven. And it's by Crayola, and it just comes in white. It can come in other colors too, but I like the white because then I can paint it when I'm done with it. So this kind of looks like a mountain. I like a mountain. We're making a coral reef today. Just like we've been reading about and seeing in our books. So we're gonna make our own coral reef. And now coral reefs have something called urchins on them. And those eat all the algae and they clean up our reef. So I'm gonna make a few tiny sea urchins to help clean up our reef. So I'm gonna make tiny little spheres. You can hear my neighbor's dog barking. We'll start with three. I'll put the rest back in here. So I have these pipe cleaners and I'm cutting them pretty short but the really cool thing about these is they have a point on them that we use for when we're beading but they also work for sticking in clay so I can make this ball of clay look like a sea urchin which is pretty fun. And sea urchins are things in the ocean that you wouldn't want to touch because they have spikes that protect them from getting eaten by other animals. And you might actually accidentally step on one or grab it on accident, but they have poison in them. So you don't really want one in your hand because it could make your hand itchy, it could sting. So you can see that he's getting pretty fuzzy and spiky. And I think he's almost done because we don't want the bottom of him to be spiky or he wouldn't stick to our coral reef. This is my sea urchin. I'll put him off to the side. I'm gonna make some purple sea urchins. I think that would be fun. Notice how I put the scissors away from me because if they got knocked off the table, I would hate to get um, cut by the scissors. I would rather they be away from me to keep me safe and keep my fingers safe so I can keep making this fun coral. Now you can see that the pipe cleaners will kind of run away from me and you might need mom and dad's help cutting these depending on what kind you get they can be kind of hard to cut but I know some of the friends in our classroom have cut some of their own before so here we go we got our second sea urchin we got one more let's make him both colors There we go. That's my other sea urchin. I'm gonna put him over here. Now I have my coral and I still need to do something with that. So I'm going to make some seaweed that goes around the bottom of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my green pipe cleaner. I'm gonna cut, cut it into a few different pieces 
and then I'm putting it into the coral reef. Now, you can make it wavy before you put it in like this by just bending it a little bit and putting it into the clay like that. Or you can put it into the clay and then bend the pipe cleaner to be a little wavy like, like seaweed. Now, we need our coral. Now, what if we make the tube coral that we saw before? What if it's, I think it was orange, right? take my straws and they're gonna fly away from me while I cut them but that's okay Ooh, and this one the extend a kind so I could put that on here push in now I'm using my three finger pincher grip to string these straws on like you guys have done with your jewelry before Now I have one more pipe cleaner right here. So I'm gonna put my straw in that one. Oh, and it's okay, I'm just gonna curl it over. Just like that. So now I have my tube um, coral. Now I'm gonna add some of my swirly coral. So I can either use this and just push it into the clay and just kind of make it into a little circle and just keep pushing it into the clay. Just like that. Or I can take my straw And you will probably need mommy and daddy's help with this. But you're gonna cut the straws into little pieces. They'll kind of look like our, about the size of our tiny cubes that we had in our classroom that you guys used to build with. It's about that size. Oop, and they're popping out like popcorn. So you can take them and you can get them really short and push them in just like you did the two ones, but just make sure that they're right next to each other. And you don't need pipe cleaners for them because they're so small. Just like that. And you see I'm only using one finger to push them in because I don't want to push them away from the other straws. I just want them to go into the clay. I forgot to put my scissors away from me. So I'm almost done with that. Now, I want my anemone to go on the side of the seagrass, just so it looks like they're climbing up to eat all the, um, oh, and I'll put this one up here. He made it all the way to the top. Just like that. Now, I want to make some fun coral, like maybe, maybe something a little crazy. This is my imaginary coral. And put it in there. I'm gonna twist this piece around. Oh, like that. Kind of looks like a fork, so I can do it when it's in the clay. 
where I can cross them like this. And bend them around kind of crazy like that. And pop it in to the clay. Oh, I want another brighter pink with them because I think that would be fun. You can even add two to one long one to make it a little taller. One there in the garden under the seat. I'm gonna have this one just over here in the bottom, just like that. You know, my seagrass is kind of getting in the way, so I'm just gonna pull it over. Now, I think I want some more yellow. Do you hear that sound? Straws sound kind of silly when you cut them, so they're kind of fun to cut up. So I'm going to take these tubes down here, I'm going to put them down here to be the coral again. And put it very close together because coral grows close together on top of each other. And this is where the animals get to hide in all those nooks and crannies. So, this is what I have for my coral wreath. Now, I can let this dry, and then I could come back and paint the rot gray or a different color. I could even take a pipe cleaner, wrap it around my finger. I wrapped it a little tighter than I wanted to. So this is like a little ball, put this here. Now, I took it and I bent it over my finger. And I bent it over that one, just like that. On to there. I'm gonna make tiny little fish lips. We're gonna squish the circle. Come like that. And then you have a fish that's swimming through your coral reef. So I hope that you guys liked this and I can't wait to see what you guys make because I'm sure it's gonna look cooler than this one. Be sure to send us those pictures because I can't wait to see them. Bye guys, enjoy Earth Month.